celebrate each other's existence in a country with a target on our backs. We are still here. Yeah. Hi everybody, my name is James Pakotis. I'm a performing artist, a filmmaker, and a producer, a certified trainer through the Native Artist Professional Development Training with First Peoples Fund. And uh, this is beautiful. I got to come here to the Oglala Lakota Art Space and spend an entire three or four days. Uh, connecting with Lakota peoples through art and through story, through performance, you know, through professional development. And now we're taking a small break away from an open studio session where we've got uh, artists from different genres connecting over music, over similarities, over, uh, you know, relatability, over connectability, rather than placing barriers between us, we're seeing where we can all come together. It's, uh, it's been a really fruitful experience these last four days. So, excited to be here. Question our ways, but still we question ourselves. Even when we're on our way down this road. This has been a full circle moment. First People's Fund first came to our reservation. And they didn't bring the training first, they just brought, uh, you know, a couple trainers to explain what First Peoples Fund could even bring to our reservation. And we're asked to come in there, and at that time, this is like 2017, and I'm just at the beginning of trying to step back into art, and I don't identify as an artist at this time, you know? Like, I've been doing rap for a long time, but, like, I consider art something like a fine art, and we've got masters of artwork on the Colville Reservation, like Smoker Marchand, Joe Federson, and, Rick Gendry. We've got all these different artists. And when First People's One came to our reservation, they had this introduction. And the first intro is like, what's your name? What people do you come from? And what type of art do you create? Immediately, I felt like this like chest tightened because here I'm sitting around these like masterful artists who've done art all over the world. And then it comes around and it gets to me. And I'm like, well, I'm James Pocotis, I'm Colville. And I don't know if what you would even consider what I do art. Like, I'm a rapper, I'm a hip-hop artist, and I hope someday I can be an artist, but I don't know if I am. And it was like Smoker Marchand, who's now, you know, passed away. Uh, he looked me in my eyes and says, uh, you know, like, James, like, you create his art, and you're meant to be here. You're an artist. So keep creating. This age time, the way I was brought up in that abalone shell as I light up my off. But how I did that bar rail, almost laid in the coffin. My kick the leap for scares, but I'm just swinging my options. The uh, validation from someone I've looked up to my whole life in that moment was really meaningful for me. At first, people's fun kept coming back, and I kept going to those courses. And I didn't know what the heck I was doing. The second time I came, I had a business card. The third time I came, I had a business card and a website. And like, I built my career through First People's Fund. And then they give me a grant. They send me to Phoenix. And they send me to, to New Orleans. And they send me to New York. And they're like, James, like, you gotta navigate these paths yourself, but let's offer an opportunity. And it's been the opportunity that has like navigated and sharpened my vision and how I create art today. So being able to come back to Lori's home, to Basil's home that I collaborate with so, with so much over the last few years has been like that full circle moment of, of them trusting me in our spaces so much over in Spokane in the Northwest, so far away from me. And now they're allowing me space to come in and trust me enough to come integrate some of my passion and some of my dedication with their people as well. Talon and I were award winners back in 2019. It was like, I think it was still 2018 though, or the beginning of 2019 when we went to Phoenix. But when we went there, this place was just being spoken about like as a dream, as a vision. And then when him and I got to visit Kennedy Center, we got to hear Carlton talk about visiting the Kennedy Center back in the 90s and the early 2000s. And her saying, I'm going to take this place over and we're going to like indigenize this space. So it's like, it's really cool to see all the way along these like 20, 30 year path that she's spoken things into existence time and time again. And now like we get to integrate our voices 
and our hard work and our passion to the next generation of artists that are going to take the lead from us. So it's that, that full circle, intergenerational, like real indigenous way of creating and being together. Would love the opportunity and the invite to come back um, at any point. What I've experienced in 2023 has really sharpened how I want to create impact back home in the Colorado Indian Reservation. And getting to see this being built in Kyle, South Dakota, this is like a state-of-the-art facility, right, that we would see in a city. And this is a community the size of any of our small communities back home. And every day that I've been here, there's been multiple events happening and people showing up to multiple events. So I'm seeing not only the possibilities of within the space, but it's in such a small community and people are still showing up. So I feel that same possibility for what I want to build back home. In NAPD, they kind of teach us about these ripple effects and how we center these teachings around the artist and how you fund this one native artist and how if you fund that one native artist on the res or off the res, it's probably going to make its way into that local community, that local ecosystem right there at home where it's at. And then through that, you grow and now you're making a bigger impact on your city, maybe in your county, maybe in your state, maybe in the nation, maybe in the global. However that system works, right? Like I've made my way through that journey to where like they've funded me over the last three to five years and, and kept supporting me as that artist because I needed the help, I needed the resources to figure out how to tell my stories. And now that I'm experienced in that, I'm at that level to where now I'm dropping my own pebbles into the community for the next artist down the line. And these ripples of art and artistic creativity are forming back home as well. So I want to figure out how, how to maximize those opportunities, how to amplify our voices, and the Oglala Lakota art space is a beautiful blueprint and, and like game plan for how we can integrate this back home on the call of Indian Reservation. A new day has come, and this is only the beginning. A beginning that has no end, but only transformation. For this, This is your awakening.